Hi, this is Kelly Brown, and today we're going to talk about data formatting. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on currency, percentage, and number. Working with data formatting is very important, especially when you're working with functions and formulas. Some functions and formulas will not work properly if the data used for them is not formatted exactly as needed. So when we're talking about currency, you can see here that there's a dollar sign in front of that data. When I click in this cell where the data appears and I go to the ribbon up at the top with the home tab selected towards the middle of the ribbon, this is where all the data formatting takes place. You'll see that accounting is selected. That means that this selected cell is formatted in the accounting format. And if I selected all of them, you would see that they're all listed as accounting. But what if I went through and cleared that? To clear that, I'm selecting all the cells and I click on general. General means that that data will have no specific data format attached to it. And it would look like this. 6.56, 14.33, 22.38, well, that doesn't look like a dollar amount. That just looks like some numbers. If I wanted this to look like a dollar amount, I would select all the cells by clicking and dragging, go up to the Format drop-down, which is right here, and then I can select Currency or Accounting. Currency will just put a dollar sign in front of the data. Accounting is more for official financial information where um, the dollar sign is in a specific place and the dat and the numbers are in another place. I'm going to choose currency for my needs and now you will see that the dollar sign is in front of it. When I select it again and choose accounting, you'll see it looks a little bit more official. And again, just by selecting the data, clicking on the drop down arrow and choosing whatever format is appropriate is how you will change that format. You'll see here if I clicked in this cell that has no data at all and I look in the formatting drop down arrow, it says general. General means again that the data has no, that cell has no specific data format attached to it. Okay, if we move on to percentage here, I see I have some cells and some data inside and they just look like decimal points. But if I want them represented as a percentage, Again, I would click and drag to select those cells. And here I don't have to go to the drop down arrow because there's a percentage option available for me right here. It says format as a percent. So I'm going to click on that and you will see that it now is all the data is showing as percentages. I'm just going to click the back track again. Notice that this one said 0 0.08 and 0.75. They were two digit decimals. When I select and dragged and chose percentage, they were converted to one, one um, with no decimals. So now that 0 0.08 came in as 8% and 75%. If I did want to add decimals here, I can click here where this is increased decimal and this is decreased decimal. If I clicked increased decimal, you'll see that um, the decimal places are showing in the num in the percentage. So that is an option for you if you needed to do that. Okay, um, if we look at this 0 0.20 here, it shows it as 0.20%, but if I decrease the decimals, you see it'll round up, to, round down actually to 0%. So that's where that's a call of the person that's looking at the data to see how they want it represented, if they want to use the decimals or if they want it to show the actual number. So that's percentage formatting and here is number formatting. We look in, click on this cell to see what type of format it is. We look up here at the format drop down. It says general which means there's no particular format assigned. If I wanted them to be formatted as numbers I would click and drag to select those cells. Click on the drop down arrow choose number right here and you see when you choose number it automatically adds two decimal points. If I do not want those decimal points to appear I would click on the decrease, I'm sorry, decrease decimal point button here. Click one to go down to one decimal point. Click it again to have no decimal points and now I just see the numbers. Okay. 
And that's how we work with currency, percentage, and number data formatting.